Good evening YouTube. Mystery box, obviously for the lathe. Um, lathe's now at a point where uh, I want to think about taking some first chips and uh, can't take chips with that tool post. So, quick change. This is a T51 for a Boxford. Uh, I went for the one with just two holders. They're of 16mm capacity, supposedly. Um, and then the block is 51mm high, uh, which is obviously sized for a Boxford lathe. Um, this will mount to my uh, compound replacement block without a T-nut and then obviously if I use it on the compound I'll have to have a T-nut so I'm going to get the compound replacement block out give this a clean because it's covered in grease um, and we'll give it a whirl right compounds fitted got a tool holder in there it's not set to height got a uh, 16 mil high speed tip tool, high speed tip, carbide tip tool. This is one of the ones that came out of the um, same factory as the DRO came from. And uh, also came with two boxes of inserts so I'm quite happy with that and I also snagged one of these with three boxes of inserts as well I mean there's probably two and a half but yeah the only problem is it clearly doesn't fit so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that I think the the back will get milled off um, and hopefully I'll get that down to be able to be used in a holder because just having some decent inserts is worth not buying one from China but there we go so yeah tool in that Of course, you always use the wrong size Allen key with any Allen headed bolt. Just got the uh, the tool holder on top of the compound replacement block. Right, I've got a uh, small slug of aluminium in. I thought I'd uh, start off small and easy. And uh, I'll plug it in and we'll give it a go. some nice chips there that end surface is all right let's try uh
Right. I've gone up uh, middle pulley, which should be uh, I don't know somewhere in the middle of the 1400s top speed. So. That's better, look. Again, it's not perfect, but for a bit of a hand fed part, I could probably do a going up the speed again, but that's a lot better. Getting some good chips. Um, this, uh, obviously, with a tip tool, it probably likes running higher anyway. A um, bit of high speed steel would obviously probably improve the finish as well, but I want to try this out. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Really, really happy. This chuck is um, next on the list of things to get changed. Uh, there's actually a broken, one of the jaws, number three jaw, has got the first tooth broken off. So when I put the jaws back in, I put one in, I put two in, noticed the, the first tooth was missing off the third jaw, so I wound the scroll plate round one turn, and then put the third one in, so it is somewhere within true as it is and can be, but it ain't right, so chuck will be the next thing to get changed, um, but as for some first chips, I'm quite happy with that. I'll just whip that out and try and give a bit of a close up. For something I've thrown together, this tool post has cost me more than the rest of the thing put together. I'm <laughs> yeah, so there we go. First chips on the new boxwood. That'll do.